Hey guys, my name's Ken. I'm just going to shoot a quick video here of my uh, 96 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ80. My wife and I recently decided to sell this, uh, and so I'm going to shoot a little video here and put it on YouTube. I'll uh, try to tell you as much as I can about this. It's a 96 white FJ80, 235,000 miles, straight six, all wheel drive. Bought this car originally in 2011. We drove it down the Baja from California. And then we decided we liked to live in down here, so we just stayed in Mexico. This is a West Coast vehicle, no rust. You'll see the plates are uh, Washington State. That's actually where I register it, just because they don't drop the insurance. Or they won't find me when I drop the insurance. So I've had this car since 2011. Uh, 2011, I went ahead and did a full service before we came down here. And service the diffs. Tranny. Uh, the engine we did a uh, plugs, wires, cap and rotor, all new radiator hoses. I just had this thing detailed, including the chassis and the engine. And this thing was absolutely cherry up until five days ago when a highly inebriated Mexican fella decided to park his car under my Land Cruiser as it was parked in front of my house. So you see this uh, bumper's pushed in a little bit. Got into the balance just a bit. You see the frame horn kind of pushing through. Tires are in great shape. I just bought them before I came down. Probably got 50% uh, to 70% life on left on them. There's the uh, rugged terrain. Do you have good wrenches? Dash pad here is in good shape, no cracks. This vehicle does have a clean title. It's got the uh, FJ80 jiggle, haven't fixed yet. I'll show you the back one more time where uh, the gentleman decided to park his Honda Civic underneath me. Destroyed the rear bumper, pushed in the uh, Receiver just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch on the right. Got a little ding here in the tailgate. And if you notice, this uh, rear quarter panel got pushed forward about three eighths of an inch. You can see the gap right here on this lower molding as you come up. Got almost a half an inch here, so. This is gonna go into a frame rack and get pulled out. It's got the gray leather interior. All the windows roll up and down. These are uh, 3M tinted windows all the way around. Back seat's in great shape for its age. Just had the, uh, like I said, just had this thing detailed. Say this thing seats seven people, but only if they're small kids and Asians. More of like a five passenger, but it does have the rear jump seats. Got aftermarket seat covers. I do a lot of spear fishing, and so I didn't want to uh, ruin the leather. This uh, the passenger side seat's in good shape. I actually just did the two uh, Gavinati mods where I rebuilt the uh, worm drives. So both the seats move forward and backwards up and down. Uh, the uh, plastic coating has come off on on the window regulators here. It's still good on the dash, on the console. The coating has come off here. Got a nice storage here. This has got the uh, wiggly antenna. The stereo doesn't work too good in this thing. I think the speakers are blown, which hasn't really bothered me because there's no good stations in La Paz, Mexico anyway. So I'll pop the hood real quick. 
this does have the electronic locking differentials which work great got into a couple tough spots spear fishing and uh, you just click those in and it takes you wherever you want to go here's a shot of the straight six it's all stock except for the k and air filter drop in element I just had him uh, detail this whole vehicle so they pressure washed the engine compartment <clears throat> got all the dust and grime out and what happened is they got some water on the spark plugs or the cap and rotor so when I start it up you'll see a check engine light I'll get that cleared every time I have them clean this thing it always comes on so it's like a number one misfire I believe <clears throat> Rear uh, wiper works on this, no problem. Back's in great shape. It's got the two little jumper seats. I don't think they've ever been sat in. Um, you can see because of the uh, damage to the rear here, this is kind of popped apart. So when we get that pulled back, we'll get that all repaired. Nice back seat. As you can see, the uh, headliner's in good shape. No rips or tears, just a couple of discolorations. I do want to point out this uh, rear solenoid here does not work. So when you unlock the doors, this one does not unlock. So yeah, I got a little uh, aftermarket knob here. You gotta do that manually. That kind of sucks. Nice tailgate. I do have an aftermarket brake controller on this. I was gonna use this to tow down my uh, enclosed trailer but decided it was too nice to destroy so I bought a 2011 Tundra and so kind of negated the need oh, for this brake controller but there is a brake controller there. fires right up AC is ice cold I just had it serviced you can see the uh, mileage there 235 here's the check engine light I can get that cleared no problem both the mirrors work everything works inside here except for uh, I'll point out one thing when you put it in gear drive the uh, selector light goes out second low work and it's got the uh, power shift option on the transmission, which works, and the second gear start, which, which works. But those lights don't come on either. I can tap those. I'll tap the power. No light. And I'll tap the second gear. Nope. Nope. Yep. Hey, second gear start does work. The uh, overdrive light works. So that's the only uh, thing that's kind of irritating. Also, uh, the four drive system works, no problems. The radio works, it's just got a terrible sound to it. The antenna motor actually does work, but it's limp and flaccid. This does have the rear heat seat option. The previous owner said he went ahead and replaced the hoses on that, and I haven't had any leaks, so it does work. I live in Mexico and I've never used it. The lockers work. Put it in four wheel drive here. Shows the diff lock. When you put it in uh, rear, both lights will come on, but one will kind of click and flash. And so I'm not sure if that's a problem. It's got to be a problem with a with a cinder or something to do with a switch but I can show you a video of me driving on the beach and engaging the rear and front differentials they both work perfectly so so this is located in La Paz Mexico which can be a good thing for a prospective buyer or a bad thing a good thing or the bad thing is going to be uh, transportation so we're about a thousand miles from the border and uh, be more than happy to drive it up to San Diego and drop it off to a transportation company. Um, the good thing is, I'm in Mexico, so <laughs> this currently has a uh, insurance claim against it. It's 
scheduled to go into the shop to get uh, repaired to uh, receive new front and rear bumpers and then to uh, have the rear quarter panel pulled out for an additional 8,000 pesos I can have the whole car the whole truck painted color of your choice my idea was to go with the uh, 2011 Toyota white just like my Tundra and then I was going to put the TRD sports stickers on the back so the uh, price of these bumpers to get them resourced from San Diego and brought down here to La Paz is going to be the same price as me having custom front and rear tubular bumpers and rock rails. So where it says now, I got about a week and a half. I plan on taking that shop to have all this work done. If somebody's interested in buying this and has a different plan of building it, um, definitely be able to work with you on that. Um, if you want a brand new interior and get away from the leather and go to cloth, I can get all that stuff done insanely cheaper in Mexico. So that's a shot of my uh, Toyota FJ80. I'll give you a shot of the roof. Oh, I forgot it does have a sunroof, which is fully functional. Rear defroster does work. So if anybody's looking just for a really clean FJ80 <laughs> and you're looking to do a build and you're going to do a lift, rims and tires and side rails and front bumper with a winch plate and rear bumper, I can get all that stuff done here pretty cheap. Be happy to work with you. It's a pretty stout vehicle the only reason I'm selling it is because gasoline in Mexico is about four hundred or four dollars and twenty cents a gallon that's because that's the only way the Mexican government can tax their civilians so I know in the United States it's probably 230 250 and my wife and I do a lot of driving down here so we're looking to get into a, a CRV I want to get a first-generation CRV five-speed white put a lift kit rims and tires on it so the only reason we're looking to get out of this nice vehicle if you guys have any questions uh, blazer2wd at aol.com i'll post this on youtube and uh, if you guys are having any questions give me a call